my name is prachi threja and i'm a faculty in chemical engineering so today i'm going to talk talk about uh, design your experiment a methodology which i tried to experiment in my uh, undergraduate fluid mechanics laboratory course so design your experiment or dye uh, as i call it is an active learning methodology which i tried to integrate into the undergraduate uh, fluid mechanics uh, mechanics lab course what is this methodology and what is the aim so the aim of this uh, methodology is to enhance learning in the fluid mechanics uh, course lab uh, basically it is to facilitate peer to peer learning where the students are divided into groups they think about an experiment which they would like to uh, implement in the lab and which is not in the uh, lab curriculum uh, they design the experiment they fabricate or assemble the experiment they do the analysis and then they do write a report and then finally do a presentation so uh, this methodology uh, has been uh, very much debated and has been uh, a very active area of research in the engineering uh, education community for several years and i was really inspired to try this in the, in the course uh, from a paper which i read uh, from fiesel and rosa which discussed about you know what is the role of undergraduate laboratory in the curriculums and the author said that the laboratory course is just not about doing experiments lab skills models data validations but it is also about you know creativity learning from their failures communication teamwork and collaborations so that really uh, made me think to inculcate or implement this small segment into the uh, into this Uh, curriculum uh, laboratory course and the the course runs along with the uh, fluid mechanics uh, theory course in the institute and as you know that the, uh, fluid mechanics is a very very theoretical subject there is a lot of mathematical equations and lab really helps to you know bring those concepts or bring those ideas into the experiment so we have a set of experiments in the lab which are designated and the students do that throughout the uh, semester and towards the end of the semester after the mid semester break they start to work on this design your experiment uh, segments so in last few years since i have uh, taught this lab uh, we start this after the mid semester for say 5 6 weeks uh, in the semester so initially the students uh, make a plan like you know what kind of experiment they would like to implement in the lab and then they start working uh, on it as the semester goes on so my role as an instructor uh, it's a very student centric activity so students take the initiative they think about the experiment and you know how they want to implement the experiment my role as an instructor is to make sure that you know the experiment they are thinking about is feasible in the lab we have the resources to do that experiment if there are they are they are lacking certain resources i make sure that they are able to procure the supplies and they are able to implement the um, uh, the experiment so uh, my goal as an instructor in this segment is majorly to monitor their progress to make sure that they are they are on track and they are able to you know complete this uh, this exercise by the end of the uh, semester so um, this this methodology which i followed is uh, very similar in spirit to some of the you know published literature if you if you go through however a, a subtle difference is that you know in in my case or in in the methodology which i followed the project was very open ended but you know uh, a lot of times active learning in laboratory courses is implemented where a certain topic is given or a range of topics are given and the students are uh, you know asked to choose one of the topic and they do it throughout the semester
So after the the course, uh, I also had a feedback uh, through an online questionnaire, which I circulated among the students. And the feedback was centered around that whether this exercise helped them go beyond the lab uh, course material, whether it fostered, you know, uh, team team coordination, it, whether it helped them to communicate their ideas and whether they, it helped them in their communication. And for all these, you know, four, uh, four or five questions, uh, you know, the feedback was very encouraging and uh, the students really appreciated it and a lot of them actually enjoyed it also. And they quoted uh, several, you know, favorite components of their, uh, of their project, for example, you know, uh, doing it together with their classmates in a group, making a presentation, assembling the setup. So uh, I believe that you know this kind of methodology along with doing a hands-on exercise can also help the students to learn how to work in teams, how to collaborate with each other and how to communicate together as a team and these skills are very useful uh, when they go for their jobs and other scenarios where these skills are really valued that you have to work in large groups and large teams and work towards a common goal and deliver a product and eventually you know communicate to a larger audience uh, so this is a, a methodology which uh, which i tried to experiment in the course and sort of a first step like you know how this methodology can be integrated into the laboratory courses and probably can uh, can be a valuable tool in enhancing the learning of the laboratory courses.